welcome to Camden in London. I'm Stephanie and today I'm at the Makeup London Academy. Here we're going to be looking into the future of makeup trends for spring summer 2016 and learning just what looks you're going to be rocking on your face. So I'm currently joined by Zane. Zane, tell me a little bit about your role in tonight's event. Yeah, so I'm the um, PR manager at Makeup London Academy and today was all about kind of, this is our first ever press day, so it was really about getting um, everything that MLA is out there and that's you know it's very much a two-pronged um, process because we have our own product range and we're also an academy so we're we're really there for a place for the students to come and learn but we've also got our products for people to purchase um, and that's what makes us different from the rest of the academies so that's what we're really showcasing tonight. Tell me a little about the Makeup Academy itself so um, how long has it been around what kind of things do you offer here and how can people get involved and learn about the world of makeup? Okay, well the Makeup Academy was opened up by Nancy and she's upstairs. It's been open for a few years now. And what we do is a variety of different courses. So we do three hour master classes where we teach you how to do highlighting and contouring as well as smoky eye technique, eyebrow shaping, um, how to do a really good winged liner. Um, additionally to that we do pro classes which are two day classes where we cover bridal hair and makeup and then we do a ten day pro class which is covering everything from hair brushing to body painting to editorial, to high fashion, to avant-garde makeup. What looks are you going to be doing on your model today? Okay, we're going to be doing one look, and that is our forecasted um, um, forecast trend for 2016. So what we're going to be doing is creating a very dewy skin. Now, instead of using a product which has pearlized particles in it, so like a glowing foundation, we're going to use face and body, which is gives you a natural dewy finish and mixing oil into it as well to give you that kind of on the beach look, you know, when you're lying on the beach and you put that brown oil on the skin and your skin's looking really dewy and shiny, but it doesn't look artificial. So we're gonna be creating that base. Then what we're gonna do on the eyebrow is we're gonna be creating a feral brow. That's one of the kind of projected forecasted looks for 2016. So it's a bit of like more of an unkept brow. Instead of it being so structured, which it has been previously, we're making it a bit messy, a bit unkept. We're gonna be using just a hint of powder and then using a brow gel on top of it to set it. What we're also going to then do in regards to the eyes, we're going to be doing like tea stained eyes. So what it that is, is a combination of quite um, kind of warm tone. So we're going to be using like a burnt orange on top of the eyelid area. And then we're going to use a bit of taupe to frame the bottom lash line and take it slightly in the socket area. Now in regards to the lash, we're going to be doing, creating a kind of wispy eyelash inspired from um, 1960s. So if you kind of visualize like Twiggy, so what we're going to use for that is um, one of the new fiber lash uh, mascaras so therefore it kind of builds the lash to give you like a fake lash effect so i'm just going to comb it through and kind of divide the lashes into clusters so it frames the eye and also on the bottom lash um, lash line as well and what we're not going to do is wing the lash out to give you that type of feline finish we want to create more of a doe-eyed effect yeah. Now also in regards to the contour and instead of using a tone which is quite cool, which is what people usually use to contour, we're going to contour with a bronzer. Again to try to complement that kind of dewy, kind of glowy beach skin. And also for the lip, what we're going to use is again a quite a natural colour to the lip. So we're going to use Spice Liner by MAC and we're only going to use a lip primer below it and then put the Spice Liner on top of it to give it a kind of natural kind of natural finish to the lip but instead but also because it's a liner it will give it more of a matte finish so it'll look more of a natural lip and additionally to that lastly what we're going to do is um faux freckles because we want to just put something a bit more interesting that's in so it. cute i know i love freckles so we're going to use like a bit of a black um, a brown gel liner and just lightly dab it onto the skin i'm not going to use pencil because pencil has an uh, has a tendency to move so we're going to use a gel liner so it'll be able to actually stay there and set and just kind of pat it on like so we can remove some of it so it looks more natural because freckles are usually slightly faded yeah i think that's it yeah but that's the look babes i've had the most amazing evening here in camden at the makeup London Academy where I've been looking at what trends are going to be big for your face next year. Now it's clear to see that whilst contouring has been a major hit with celebrities across the globe it's slowly filtering out and it's becoming more light, bright and clean dewy skin. Add a touch of oil to your foundation and it's the simplest way to get the look. Sadly that's all I've got time for today but you can catch me next time for more fashion and beauty news straight from London. See you soon.